catalyst and negative catalyst. Positive it means the speed the chemical reaction and the negative decrease the rate of chemical reaction during the time. After that, you have the function of a meter. It's used to measure the current intensity. This is the function of a meter. And we have another one. It is voltmeter. Voltmeter here, it has another function that's used to measure the potential difference between two points in a conductor. So this one, it's a type of measuring device in electricity. Don't forget them. Don't make disruption or interruption between them. Try to study it very, very well and try to answer these questions many times. Another one, we have ohm meter. Ohm meter, it means what? A measuring device of ohm. Ohm, it means resistance. So the resistance here, it is used to measure the resistance in the conductor. If I have rheostat, variable resistance, or if I have a constant resistance or stable in its place. After that, rheostat. Rheostat, it is one of the devices that used to control electric current intensity by my control as a human being. Why? To make what? To make increasing or decreasing electric current intensity in the device. Like what? If I have a volume of what? Of the recorder. We have here a graph. It is very important to graph about the chemical reaction. So here, this is the number one, number two, and number three. So the time here per minute. Study the following figure, then answer. Number one, we have this figure. And in the following equation, 2x give us 2y and z. So this one is time per minute. And here we have the opposite graph represent the change in concentration of reactant and the product during the time. Okay, so this one means what? Write the name of each number indicates the illustration of a change in reactants and the products in this reaction during the, during the time in a table. So what is the answer here? This is the number 2 represent 2x. Number 3 represent z. And number 4 or number 1 represents what? Represent 2y. Why? Because number 1 is the highest one. In the number of molecules, so 2y, it's what? It is the high number of molecules in the product. And we have z here, it's number 3. And the last one, it's number 2, represent 2x. Let's go to see another thing about this one in the table. We have time per minute. It's concentration of 2x, concentration of 2y, and concentration of z. In the beginning of chemical reaction, we have concentration of 2x, that gives us what? 100%. Why? Because it is the beginning of chemical reaction. We have no reaction. The reactant is still without a change. And the concentration of 2Y is 0%. So concentration of Z is also 0%. Why? Because we have no reaction, so we have no product. Number two, during chemical reaction. During chemical reaction, we have decreasing gradually to reach 50%. And concentration increase gradually to reach also 50%. And the last one increasing gradually to reach 50% also to make balance between them in one second of this reaction. After that, at the end of this reaction, what will happen? The concentration of 2x is 0% by decreasing gradually. And we have 2y. It's increasing gradually to reach what? To reach 100%. And we have the concentration of that also change it into 100% gradually because we have increasing in the product and decreasing in the reactants. Now we have another type of question is complete the following. Number one, from the catalyst that used in catalytic converter. Catalytic converter, it means a part that found in the cars or the modern cars to make what? To make space and space. Number one, to make V205, it's what? It's catalytic converter. We have many examples of this. We have MnO2, vanadium, pentoxide, or manganese dioxide. Let's go to see another one. Space used to measuring in measuring the current intensity, but space used in measuring potential difference. First one, it's what? Very good. It's a meter using the measuring the current intensity, but space here, it means used to measure the potential difference, it is voltmeter. Let's go to see another one. 
of this complete question we have the resistance is measured by what by ohm but the current intensity measured by which unit i need it here the ampere why because here this is electric current intensity is measured by ampere unit do you know the names of the glands here to make up the endocrine system is very easy if you study it very well so you make this glands in a right way so here this is thyroid gland thyroid gland it's found where part or which part here here this is what this is thyroid gland that found here very good why because this thyroid gland it's found near from near from our what our larynx the other one we have adrenal gland adrenal gland it it's found above the kidneys so this one is adrenal gland here or here why because it's found here in over the kidney and produce adrenaline hormone and here we have pancreas it is very easy to know this pancreas we studied before in digestive system to what to produce some kind of hormone that called insulin that makes controlling of sugar in diabetes so the tests another one we have tests here tests is found in human which part or which one of the human it's man so the tests it's what male part or male reproductive system a part of male reproductive system so here this is pituitary gland pituitary gland which one of them we have two here which one of them here or here here mister no it's not here we have what we have pituitary gland is found behind or below the brain so this is the brain here and it's found in this part it's very small one and it is very important one to control all the function of all glands so it is the master of glands the last one is ovary if i don't know this one so we have one of them so that's the name what is the name of a special type of chemicals that are released by the endocrine glands so this one is called what is called hormones my dear friends i hope to enjoy your time with us in whole term you have answers for the exam and you have many types of answers and many types of questions in your school book try to answer it today to get high marks in your exam thank you and goodbye everybody